Welcome back. Anita asked about the steering wheel control, so we're going to tackle that today. We're going to start with the paddles. There's a plus side and then a minus side. If you look right here, it says I've got no more recuperation. If I click on the plus side, it then goes into no recuperation or intelligent recuperation. As I switch back over to the minus side, it goes back to normal. And then it goes back to strong recuperation. It skips the no recuperation altogether. So that's what the paddles do. As I look at the two sides, this side covers this screen and the heads up display. This side covers that screen and then the voice activation thing. So we're gonna start with this side. Down at the bottom is my cruise control. All of these buttons right here are my cruise control. As I'm driving, sorry right, to push this button, it would let me set up how fast I wanna go. Once I get to the speed I want, I hit the set button. And right now the car is saying I'm not going anywhere. But if I click on this button up and down, that'll change my speed every five miles an hour. If I slide my th thumb up this or slide it down, it'll change it at one mile an hour. If I want to cancel the cruise control, I hit the cancel button. And when I want to go back to the cruise control setting I had before, I hit resume. And then if I want to change the distance between myself and the car in front of me, I hit this button, which changes it from four to three to two to one, and then back to four. These top three buttons edit that screen in the front there. I'm gonna start by hitting the home button, which brings up all the screens I have available to me. I'm currently in classic. And in classic, I hit, I'm going to hit the OK button because I hit, I want there. It's in that classic mode. As I swipe up and down this middle portion, it gives me some different features. How This is the range I have, maximum, minimum, and what the estimated based on my driving is. This tells me how much I'm using since I started. And clearly, my usage isn't great because I haven't gone anywhere. This tells me if I need to be kept at my tension going. This gives me what I'm listening to on the radio system. This is this gives me a map, which is kind of cool because then you can have two maps going for you. This is my total miles driven with the car. This is the miles I've driven since I started the car, which is none. This is since I last hit reset. And I've driven 217 miles since I last hit the reset button, which you hit by hitting the OK button. And then and it says yes, no, you swipe left and you hit yes. And now I've reset my reset distance. This one is kind of fun. It tells you how well you're driving economy wise. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it is clever. And that brings me back here. Also on this screen is my speed over here. It gives me distance, like we just talked about on that screen, with my battery percentage. So I always know what my battery strength is. Uh, it also has the time. It tells me I'm ready to start driving, but I'm also able to start looking for parked cars. Tells me the outside temperature, my recuperation level, what gear I'm in, what kind of drive I'm in and in comfort now, and then the percentage of the battery I'm using or recuperating. So that's what this classic screen does for me. If I hit the home button again and I move it left to right, the screen goes left to right, and here I'm in a map. And this mirrors the map to the right. And when I'm driving with assistance, it'll even tell me, show me the turns. Hit the home button again, go left to right one more time. 
This is the one that shows you how you're driving compared to the traffic around you. As you adjust this button here for your distances, if you're driving, it shows you here the distances between the cars. It's about 100 feet when you're driving at freeway speeds, 100 feet per little square. And it'll show the cars as they come up next to you. And then when you turn the lane to get the on cruise control, it'll show you the green arrow that's gonna change which way you're driving. So this is just a nice handy dandy screen to have up as you're driving along. Left, right again. This is my service. It tells me the, the various information about the car. It's helpful. I don't use it often. And then, then there's the sport one. This is kind of fun. It shows you your G-forces. That little ball in the middle will go left or right, depending on whether you're turning left or right. And it'll tell you if you're going fast or slowing down. And it'll give you your range down here at the bottom, so it keeps you... In, reminded how far you have to go till you need to charge up again. So that one's a lot of fun, but again, I don't find a lot of utility in it. Hit the home button again, come over one more. This is for people who say there's too much information. I don't need all this information. You select this one and it just gives you your speed and the time and the middle doesn't have a whole lot of anything else. So it's not too complicated for you.